Good morning, good morning. God bless every one of you. It is morning, morning. We thank God for another beautiful day. Hallelujah. I trust every one of you are doing awesome this morning. Those of you that missed a message from yesterday, please try to listen if you can today about when God lives to you. There are lots of benefits and blessings that comes when your own blessing comes from the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Let's turn our Bibles to um, Psalm chapter 2, verse 8. The Bible says, Eyes of me, and I will give you the nation for your inheritance, and the end of the earth as your possession. Beloved, this morning, I don't know what's your plead. I don't know what you want from God. Concerning your family, concerning what God wants you to do in this life. But God is saying this morning, you should ask him even for the nation and he will give the nation to you. And this morning, I want to speak in light of souls. Souls are the heartbeat of God. God died for everybody on the face of the earth. Your own nation can be your family this morning. Your own nation can be your community. Your own nation can be your husband, your wife, your children. Are they safe? Are those around you who are causing problems, your neighbors, your co-workers, are they safe? If they are not safe, then begin to take them for Jesus. Get them in prayer. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I want to let you know that prayer works. If you try it, it works. So this morning, whoever is in your life bothering your peace, or your children are not changing, your husband is not changing, your wife is not changing, your nation is not changing. This morning, God said, ice, and I will give them to you. That means ask the Lord for him. Say, Lord, save this person, change this person, make them for your glory. Hallelujah. I do understand that sometimes we pray so much selfish prayer trying to kill everybody around us. But beloved, it doesn't work like that. We must realize that the battle is in is spiritual. Amen. The Bible said we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So there are sometimes the enemy which of course, the owner where the enemy works on the face of the earth, he has to use a vessel. So I do understand most of the time he used people against us. But as a child of the living God, your desire should be to win the loss at all costs, to win your family member for Jesus, to win your children for Jesus, those who are not understanding you, those who are coming against you, we need for the Lord, pray for them to be transformed. Pray for them to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Even the nation's leaders who are out there that are not doing what God has called them to do, who are out of order, our job as believers is to pray for people to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So this week, I want to challenge you. Whoever is in your life, be it your children, be it your husband, be it your wife, your co-worker, your family member, your wish, auntie, uncle, bring them to Jesus. Say, Lord, I want this person for you. Lord, visit them. No matter how far they have gone, there is nothing that the blood of Jesus cannot do. Jesus defeated wishes and well out. Jesus defeated, sick. Jesus defeated the worst of darkness. Hallelujah. The Bible says for this cause, the son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. So no matter who is coming against you, as you bring them to Jesus and say, Lord, handle them. I want this blessing for you, Lord. I want them to experience your power. I want them to be changed. God will change them. May the Lord give us the grace to win souls for him. May he give us the grace to win the loss. May he give us the grace to love our enemies, hallelujah, and to bring them to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that grace this morning. I also pray for those of you who are listening this morning. If you are the one causing the problem, if you are the one who are not saved, who don't know Jesus, who your parents are 
People are talking about you and say, oh, your life is that, is that nothing good will come out of you. I want to encourage you this morning to try Jesus. Amen. He loves you. He has a plan for your life. This is life's most important decision. As you come to Jesus, you surrender to him. As you do his will, when you die, you will go to heaven. Even on this earth, he will make your life better. I ask you this morning to please surrender to him. Hallelujah. And your life will never be the same. Ha ha. The Lord bless you today. I take charge of the atmosphere. As we go today, may the blessings of the Lord rest upon us. I cancel the blinds of the enemy. I break an end to night's wickedness. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I cover our lives, the lives of our children in the blood of Jesus. May we walk in God's divine plan today for our lives. May favor chase us wherever we go. May God open doors unto us. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. And I see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you. Bye-bye.